Welcome back here to World of Esports on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about card games and how you started off with what? Your free cells, your solitaires, your go fish, which is my personal favorite, and how it's transitioned to more complex games like Hearthstone, Gwent, Artifact, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. Obviously, I can keep going on in this list. We're gonna be taking a look at how it started with these 52 cards and transition into a multi-million dollar esport industry. Oh, yeah! Do you like playing cards? Even if you don't, would you believe that almost a quarter of a billion players play games involving them? For many of us, card games have been an important part of spending our free time. From the classic 52 card decks to the more advanced and absorbing titles, these little colorful rectangles for years have provided us with tons of fun, and sometimes even ruined a few friendships along the way. No wonder that in time such entertainment appeared in virtual reality and as time went on, became its own branch of esports. Card games come in all shapes and sizes, but when talking about virtual cards, we definitely should say a few words about the OG and one of the pioneers, Magic the Gathering. Originally published in 1993, Magic the Gathering has since amassed a massive amount of fans and continues to grow to this day, with professional tournaments being organized around the globe. That's why in time, Magic the Gathering was also released as a PC title, utilizing the concept of a virtual economy in order to preserve the collectible aspect of the card game. Players gave it mostly positive feedback and through the years kept supporting its development. And when it comes to tournaments, Magic the Gathering Online also has its own official championship. Held yearly, it started in 2009 and back then featured only 8 players, only to expand to 24 players in the 2017 edition. Not only that, the total prize pool reached $200,000 with Dmitry Butikov, the 2017 champion, taking home $40,000. Dmitry Butikov is your Magic Online champion. Magic the Gathering Online paved the way for many other similar titles, but few of them came close to the popularity of Hearthstone, a game developed by Blizzard Entertainment. Released in March 2014, this title, set in the Warcraft universe, has since taken both the genre and esports market by storm. And you can't be surprised given that Hearthstone combines free-to-play with mechanics consisting of deck building and class-based duels, which are pretty easy to learn, but hard to master. And even though the RNG gods might not always be favorable, this approach meant that Blizzard's game soon became a prominent esports title, featuring many regional and global tournaments for casuals and professionals alike. And speaking of global tournaments, the Hearthstone Championship Tour is probably the biggest of them all. The 2018 edition included three tournaments, each taking place in Los Angeles, California, after a series of regional playoffs. The latest HCT Winter Championship, which concluded at the beginning of March, saw 16 players compete for a $250,000 prize pool, with Roger claiming the first place spot after taking down Bunny Hopper from Samsung Morning Stars, three to nothing. However, 2019 will see some significant changes coming to professional Hearthstone gaming as a result of player-provided feedback. A new three-step tournament system will be implemented to make the scene more accessible and to further motivate the community. Blizzard also increased the total prize money for 2019 to $4 million. But Hearthstone is not the only game that was established in a well-known universe. Let's have a look at Gwent, a card game that first appeared in Witcher 3 and has since been called one of the best of all time. Players in Gwent play as one of the five factions in the game and use cards picked randomly from their decks to create an army, which is then placed on the battlefield according to its fighting style. Each game consists of three rounds, and in order to win, you must acquire more points than your opponent in two of them. Despite being fairly young, players continued to flock to it, and the demand for esports was on the rise even during the beta stages of the game. That's why its creators CD Projekt Red are developing Gwent Masters, a seasonal tournament series in a pro ladder style, as well as many licensed events which will culminate during Gwent World Masters, the highest tier of competitive events, during which the best players compete for the world champion title and a share of the $250,000 prize pool. And let's not forget about card games developed strictly for the mobile devices. Right now, there are dozens of mobile card games to choose from, but probably the most popular of them all is Clash Royale. Published by the Finnish studio Supercell in 2016, Clash Royale is a great example of how simple ideas are sometimes the best. 
a game in which you construct a deck using available unit cards and then use them to take down your opponent's towers is as simple as it sounds. And with the title being free to play, almost everyone can join in and duel in a colorful, fast-paced match, which usually lasts around three minutes. With over 100 million downloads, it shouldn't be a surprise that Clash Royale also has a giant esports fan base, which is supported by the creators with events like Crown Championship with a $400,000 prize pool, or the Clash Royale League, featuring a hefty $1 million of prize money, while also being the biggest such initiative for mobile games to date. And if that wasn't enough, Supercell's creation was also a part of an esports demonstration event during Asian Games 2018, held in Indonesia. Too bad that not all modern card games had so much luck, despite being accessible and set in known universes. However, the card game genre is vast, and perhaps soon we will see another contestant enter the scene. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button on it because every time you do, someone out there finds a Black Lotus.